what is power transition? So what is power transition? All right, when the most powerful falls and another power takes its place. This is a form of power transition. So we've discussed here a few elements of power. I'm going to recap quickly, you know, uh, great booming, growing economy, um, high GDP, we'll say low death rates, low birth rates, low unemployment rates, uh, high technology. Okay, um, high level of security, okay, uh, great army, okay, uh, great political structure, okay. So these are all, we'll say, elements of, of a healthy country, or what's known today as a, as a, as a first world country, right? Now, <clears throat> it says here, power transition all right so i gave you the elements of power now the transition part right so obviously here there's a switch all right now here we're discussing here hierarchies of power okay those who have the most power and those who have the least power we're not discussing specifically each detail of what of what power is okay all of these elements that i get gave to you gives a state a certain place within this chart of power all right who has the most power who has the least amount of power all right and when we take this chart here right when a lower ranking power or lower ranking state with certain amount of power overthrows a higher power this is known as a power transition uh, transition okay or when the most powerful fall and another power takes its place, this is another form of power transition, okay? And so that is basically what power transition is, right? Uh, a great example of power transition would be when Germany lost World War I, all right? Who became the most powerful? France, Britain, the winners, all right? The United States, okay? Uh, when, let's we'll say, the Soviet Union lost the Cold War, who became the most powerful? All right. Um, the United States, you know, established itself as the most powerful uh, nation in the world. All right. So this is what's known as a power transition. All right. When the most powerful fall or even a more powerful simply falls and a weaker one or a rising one takes its place. All right. So this is a form of power transition. So as we go into assessment six, we're going to discuss why war occurs. Like, why does war occur? And power transition kind of has a lot to do with it. All right. Um, if we see, uh, let's say, if we are the most powerful nation worldwide, I'm just gonna throw the United States into into a, an assumption here. You know, you can have your, your disagreements here, but let's say I'm the United States. I'm the most powerful, okay? And then I see another country here, uh, a neighboring country, rising up slowly, arming itself, right? This can cause warfare, all right? This can cause warfare, right? Um, uh, we do want to remain the most powerful, so we would actually do whatever it takes to maintain our status in the power hierarchy okay uh whether it's warfare all right now this is a great example why we have to at times belittle others because they might become too powerful and they might become a threat to our to our nation and so now we're going now we're discussing warfare right and here look at the next question casualties 